Welcome to the Goal Zero Toolbox Talk series. Today's Toolbox Talk. Warehouse Safety. Whether in a freestanding facility or an adjunct to a manufacturing operation, you should be aware of the hazards affecting warehousing employees. Safety concerns for production facilities with warehouses include conveyors, manual material handling, fire safety, chemical exposure, lockout slash tagout, powered industrial trucks, housekeeping, air emissions, noise and ergonomics. Additional hazards found in warehousing include loading docks, material storage, fire safety and charging stations. Several problems exist that affect the safe storage of materials. These include bad pallets, damaged racks, irregular dimensions, inadequate space, load limits of racks and mezzanines, lack of spacing between back-to-back -back racks and insufficient guarding on the mezzanine. Powered industrial trucks are vital to most warehouse operations. They pose great risk of endangering associates, property and products if operated improperly. That's why only those employees who are trained and authorized by the employer may become operators. In addition, potential causes exist that can lead to injuries from manual handling of materials. These include lifting, back sprains and strains, and hand injuries. The personal protective equipment, PPE, you wear will vary depending on what hazards are present. Proper PPE may include hard hats, safety shoes, gloves, aprons, eye and face protection, and hearing protection. In addition, slips, trips, and falls are a major source of injuries throughout any warehouse. Things that can cause a slip, trip or fall include cords, hoses, and banding material, carrying material with blocked vision, leaking containers, spilled liquids, or slippery material, rain, snow, or ice, paper, Broken pallets. Unguarded openings on elevated work platforms or levels. Lack of safety harnesses when working in overhead racks. Uneven floors, lack of handrails, floor holes. Insufficient lighting. Forklifts are a major tool in most warehouses and require. Forklifts should only be operated by a competent person who has completed certified training. Always inspect the forklift daily for any damage. Never operate faulty equipment. Never overload the machine or operate it outside of what it was designed to do. Never use a forklift as a man lift or ride. Always use seat belts when operating a forklift. Never enter and exit the forklift with the forks raised. Mark forklift travel paths and keep personnel from walking in these areas to prevent struck by incidents. Other hazards include loading docks, conveyors, hazardous material handling, poor material storage practices, manual lifting, ergonomics, charging systems, and dealing with energized equipment.